Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the introductory econometrics course. We will continue our solutions to the computer exercises for chapter 15. Instrumental variables estimation and two-stage least squares. In the textbook Introductory Econometrics, a modern approach, the seventh edition, by Professor Jeffrey Woodridge. Let's do computer exercise three. In part one, the model is as follows. For the IV estimate to be consistent, the IV for education must be uncorrelated with mu. Could near C4 be correlated with things in the other term such as unobserved ability? Explain. The instrumental variable for education is whether growing up near a four-year college. The instrumental variable could be correlated with the unobserved factors in the Ayrton mu. For example, parents who care about their children's growing up environment and education tend to live near colleges. Such family backgrounds will affect the kids' future earnings. Impact 2 for a subsample of the man in dataset, an IQ score is available. Regress IQ on near C4 to check whether average IQ scores vary by whether the man grew up near a four-year college. What did you conclude? We regress IQ on the instrumental variable and the other exogenous variables in the model by OLS. We find that the man who grew up near colleges are 1.2 more points higher in IQ than those living far away from colleges on average. The difference is statistically significant at the 10% level but not at the 5% level. If we run the simple regression, the slope coefficient is significant at the 1% level. In part 3, we regress IQ on DSC4 and SMSA66 and 8 geographic dummy variables. Are IQ and DSC4 related after the geographic dummy variables have been parceled out? Reconcile this with your findings from part 2. Adding the geographic dummy variables to the model, we find that the coefficient on near C4 is no longer statistically significant at any reasonable level. It makes sense because the near C4 is correlated with the geographic dummies and it becomes insignificant after the geographic effects are parceled out. In part 4, from part 2 and 3, what do you conclude about the importance of controlling for SMSA66 and the 1966 regional dummies in the log wage equation? We realize that once we control for the geographic variables in the structural wage equation, the instrumental variable near C4 is not likely to be correlated with the unobserved ability in the Ayrton mill. In other words, the instrument exogeneity requirement is more likely to be satisfied. So we should include the geographic dummies in the model when we estimate it by two-stage least squares. Let's solve computer exercise 4. A simple regression relating the three months T-bill rate to the inflation rate is as follows. In part 1, estimate this equation by OLS, omitting the first time period for later comparisons. Report the results in the usual form.
the estimated equation is as follows. In part two, some economists feel that the consumer price index mismeasures the true rate of inflation, so that the OLS from part one suffers from measurement error bias. We'll estimate the equation from part one using inflation rate in T minus one as an IV for inflation rate in T. How does the IV estimate of beta one compare with the OLS estimate? We compare the estimates in a table. The instrumental variables estimate of beta one is larger than the OLS estimate. It is consistent with the feeling by some economists of the towards to zero measurement error bias of OLS. In part three, we estimate model by first differencing method. We compare the estimate with the OLS estimate and the instrumental variables estimate. The first differencing estimate is smaller than the OLS estimate. We know that the instrumental variables estimation and the first differencing estimation are methods to deal with the omitted variable bias in the OLS estimate. Now, the instrumental variables estimate is larger than the OLS estimate, but the first differencing estimate is smaller than the OLS estimate. It implies that some omitted variables in the error term cause the OLS estimate to be upward biased, and they are time constant. So after eliminating them by first differencing, the estimate becomes smaller. On the other hand, some omitted factors may cause the OLS estimate to be downward biased, and they are not correlated with the past inflation rate. So after using the past inflation rate as an IV, the estimate becomes larger. In part four, can you use delta inflation rate in T minus one as an IV for delta inflation rate in T in the difference equation in part three? No, because the regression shows that they are not correlated. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.